Welcome to Red Carpet TV Nigeria. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video. For coverage of events, you can call any of the numbers in the description box. Thank you and enjoy our videos. The Boston crowd at Yoshogo Township Stadium was evocative of a golden age of his classic evangelistic crusades. Ecstatic multitudes with elastic fortitudes gathered in awesome wonder, pondering and pandering to the pounding elegy for the prodigy of evangelism. Apostle Tio Obadari, whose remains have just been brought to the stadium amidst the boss of requests. Obadari, Prophet, evangelist, teacher, preacher, and founder of the world soul winning evangelistic ministry, Wilson International, died in Akure, Ondo State, March 21 at 83. Abadare spent the greater part of his adult life in Akure, also the headquarters of Wilson. At a special lane in state, attended by Governor Lucia Gumimiko in Akure, Ondo State Capital, family, friends, and followers pay tribute. To the late preacher on Thursday, August 15, 2015. The body departed Akure on Friday and was received at Owena Owode, boundary town between Ondo and Oshun states. From there, it was a smooth cruise to Oshogo Township Stadium. With a mixture of pain and pride, Governor Raul Varego Shola, represented by the head of service in Oshun State, Mr. Sunday Oweye, said Prophet Obadari lived an exemplary life of service to God and humanity. In his tribute, Oshun State Chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Superior Evangelist Ibrahim Aladisheye, urged the gathering to emulate the life and times of Prophet Obadari, who used his entire life to do good for the benefit of the human race. In the same vein, National Publicity Secretary of Christ Apostolic Church Worldwide, Pastor Ulu Arije Sudade, said that Prophet Obadari was a man whose love for evangelism was genuine without the intention of making money. Scores of others also paid homage to Obadari, one of the most impactful evangelists of his generation. While appreciating Osho State Government, the son of the late evangelist, Pastor Abraham Obadari, thanked God for his father's life of positive impact and apostolic fervor. The service was brought to a close as the funeral convoy departed for Elisha, where the service of songs held at the Wosem International Conference Ground, Ileki Elisha. On Saturday, 17 August 2013, pastors, society icons, ministers, politicians, Christians all over the world thronged to Wosem International Conference Ground, Ileki area. Elisha Ocean State to be part of significant epoch burial of a man who served God with guards. Timothy Oluwole Obadari, General Evangelist of Christ Apostolic Church and founder of Wozen. The program started with an opening prayer by Pastor Ladi Thompson, General Basia, Living Waters Unlimited Church. This was followed by Bible reading. In his sermon, Pastor Dr. James Onabo described Obadari as a great mentor, a leader, prophet to the nation, whose ministry brought souls to Christ. Who is the next apostle? Pastor Onabo asked. In his goodwill message, Pastor Ayo Orisha Jaffo, national president of Cannes, said he came not to mourn but to celebrate a man that affected and brought changes to the world and nation. Thereafter, Pastor Moses Kasali, General Basia of Our Mercy Prayer Ministry, 
joined hand with Governor Raoul Faragbashala. Though a devout Muslim, Faragbashala removed his cap to honor God in prayer for the state and the nation. In his speech, the Ashun governor called on all to emulate the life of Apostle Obadari, who served God with all his life. He said, Obadari lived a glorious life of which lessons of dedication, commitment and steadfastness should be drawn by the people in any position they find themselves. Then he appreciated the role played by the wife of the deceased, Elizabeth Obadari, for supporting the husband in spreading the gospel of God. Speaking on the objective of the state government's support for the funeral, Governor Aregbeshala said, the glorious life of the great apostle deserved more than the acknowledgement. If in any position you find yourself, any post, the position you find yourself, dedication, dedication, and atonement of disciples is one that supports or aids achievement. There is nothing that can draw man back to so do what you need to do in this world. That, that is the first moral lesson we need to take from our father's life. Talk with some of the children, grandchildren, family, and guests. Uh, the most important thing I miss about our father is the integrity of the man. The integrity in the sense of speaking the word and living the word. He just want to miss his fatherly love, his caring, and his sensitivity to every need. I thank God for what God has used him. Um, I thank God for how God has brought him to a better place. And God has taken him to a better place. And I, and I, and I thank God for that. And for the rest of my family that are with me, I would like to thank God on behalf of them as well. Um, I pray that may his soul rest in peace. <laughs> We say good night to an evangelist of note, Apostle T.O. Obadare. Thank you for watching Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel.